What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now today we've got the man Kurz again. Uh, we've got one of his videos. We've got what are you? Pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you don't know who this is, original link in the description, of course, go check out. I mean, these videos literally, yeah, man, they just, they trip me out, essentially. Like, if you haven't seen my reactions to them, watch them. Um, we've done a bunch of, of this channel before, and yeah, it honestly just messes with my brain. So that's why we're here. So if you guys like, subscribe, leave a like. <laughs> Let's get into it. Let's go. Your body. Oh, hold on. That's a bit loud. Hold on, man. All right. What are you? I mean, I'm a human, I think. But again, we watched a video that was on a simulate. Are we a simulation last week? So I don't know. Maybe I'm the simulation. I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. Kind of, right? But is there a line where this stops being true? That's a brain. How much of yourself can you remove before you stop being you? And what? does the question even make sense? No, not really. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is what I mean. And there we go. Kurz gives... Your physical existence is cells. Mm -hmm. Trillions of them. At least ten times more than there are stars in the Milky Way. Is that true? A cell yeah, is a living cool. being. A machine made of up to oh. 50,000 different proteins. It has no consciousness, no will, no purpose. It just is. But it is still an individual. Together, your cells form huge structures for jobs like preparing food, gathering resources, transporting stuff around, scanning the environment, and so on. If you extract cells from your body and put them in the right environment, they will continue to stay alive for a while. So, your cells can exist Why? without you. But you can't exist without them. If we take all the cells... Wait. Wait, because I thought a cell that... Wait. Because they said a cell, when it, like, they need... Bro, wait, hot, what? I'm, the way, I'm already confused. There is no you anymore. Is there a line where a pile of your cells stops being you? Yeah, what? Wait. For example, if you donate an organ, billions of your cells will continue to live on inside someone else. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Does this mean that a part of you became a part of another person? Yeah. Or is this other body keeping a part of you alive? I mean, technically Or let both. us imagine an experiment. You and a random person from the street exchange cells. What Me and, um, who, if you, if you could change cells with one person, who would you change with? I would swap some cells with, uh, Steve Smith. Just to get some, like, cricketing ability or one something. One at a time, your body gets one of their cells, their body gets one of your cells, at which point would they become you? Would yeah. they ever... Or is this just a very slow and gross way to teleport you? Yeah. Let's make this more complicated. Wait, the can you actually do that? Imagine if you can put like someone else's entire being into some... Bro, that's not Ourselves weird. as a static thing is untenable. Almost all of your cells have to die during your lifetime. They die a lot, don't 250 they? 250 yeah. million have died since the beginning of this video alone. Damn, Between that's a lot. Between 1 and 3 million per second. Rest in peace to the cell. In a seven year period, most of your cells are replaced at least once. Yeah, I've heard that. Every time your cell setup changes, you are slightly different than before. Hey. So, a part of you is dying constantly. If you are lucky enough to become old, you would have cycled through roughly a million billion cells. Wait, is that a real number? So what you consider yourself is really just a snapshot. But sometimes, cells are broken and don't want to die. Questioning the very nature of the unity of our bodies, we call them cancer. They cancel the biological social contract and become basically immortal. Cancer is not an outside invader, it's a part of you that puts its own survival over yours. But you could also argue that a cancer cell becomes another entity inside us, another being that just wants to thrive and survive. I don't care. If you are... If you're a cancer cell watching this video, fuck you. I don't like... No, we don't mess with cancer over here. We don't... I don't care about... If, if, if the cells in my body are done surviving, just... just just fall over and, and go to sleep. Like, don't don't give me this survival shit here. 
I don't, I don't want to have that. Just keep this away from me. Can we blame it for that? Yes, I can. The yes. chilling cell story is that of Henrietta Lacks, oh. a young cancer patient who died in 1951. Usually, cells only survived for a few days in the lab, making research very hard. Henrietta's cancer cells were immortal. Over the decades, they were multiplied over and over again and used for countless research projects, saving countless lives. Hey, that's pretty Henrietta's cool. cells are still alive and overall have been grown to at least 20 tons of biomass. Oh. So there are living parts around the world from someone who has been considered dead for decades. Huh. How much of Henrietta is in these cells? What makes one of your cells you anyway? Maybe the information DNA, yeah. contained in it, your DNA. Until recently, it was believed that all the cells in your body had basically the same genetic code. But it turns out this is wrong. Oh. Your genome is mobile, changing over time through mutations and environmental influences. This is especially the case in your brain. According to recent discoveries, a single neuron in an adult brain has more than 1,000 mutations in its genetic code that are not present in the cells surrounding it. But how much you is your DNA really? About 8% of the human genome is made up of viruses that once infected our ancestors and merged with us. Mitochondria, power plants of the cell, once were bacteria that merged with the ancestors of your cells. They still have their own DNA. An average cell has hundreds of them. Hundreds of little things that are not really human, but they still kind of are. It is confusing. That's what I'm a bit... Bro, I'm pro... Like... What? All right, let's let's keep let's going. Let's backtrack a bit. Please, let's we do that. We know that you're made up of trillions of little things, made from more little things that are constantly changing. Together, all those little things are not static, but dynamic. Their composition and condition is changing constantly. No, so, so technically so, that means your cells just... So if it's not your DNA, then essentially when they go into someone else or like, you know, an organ or whatever or cells transfer that it, they, they adapt to the new person and then become the new person within am i right so we might just Maybe. be a self-sustaining pattern without clear borders that gained <laughs> self-awareness at some point and now has the ability to think about itself through time and space but really only exists in this exact very moment where did this pattern start with your conception when the first human arose when life first began conquering our small planet, or when the elements that make up your body were forged in a star, our human brains evolved to deal with absolutes. The fuzzy borders that make up reality are hard to grasp. Maybe ideas like beginning and end, life and death, you and me, are really not absolutes, but ideas belonging to a fluent pattern. A pattern that is lost in this strange and beautiful universe. The problem of who we are isn't just a question of our cells, but it's also a question of our minds. Oh. Just as our cells can be divided and separated from us, so can our very brains be divided and separated from us. While still in the skull, click here to go to my channel and watch the next part. Okay, so now go watch CGP Grey's video. All right, shout out. I will add this to my recommended then. Um, well, not my, my watch list. And I guess I'll watch this in a further date. So, hey, <laughs> what are you? So I guess we're two. Technically, that's what the title. Bro, look, I don't know. Look, watching these videos, you should never try and find an answer. Because every time I try and find an answer, it's never the right thing. And it's just, there's no answer, is there? There's never an answer. Hey, leave me some other ones from the man, because if there's any other mind-messing videos like this, link me them. Hey, I hope everyone enjoyed, and I'll see everyone in the next one.